Evil, Grimlock. Primary function, attack trooper. Quote, me Grimlock, king of beasts. Beast mode, raptor. Bio, a veteran of countless hard-fought campaigns during the Great War between the Autobots and Decepticons. Grimlock only grudgingly, after much persuasion, agreed to downsize slash adapt his robot form following the Pax Cybertronia. But peace did not sit well with Grimlock. And soon he was signing up for every dangerous, hazardous, or plain suicidal deep space mission. Once aboard a science or survey vessel, Grimlock would immediately opt for stasis. Unable to bear the intermediate stretches of inactivity, before leaving Cybertron, Grimlock had a personalized reformatting chip inserted, one that was designed to seek out only the strongest, deadliest beast modes. Existent or extinct on arrival on any given planet. Weapons and abilities. In robot mode, Grimlock relies largely on his sheer brute strength and secondary reinforced armor plating. Though he wields both a barbed tail lance and a spinning slasher sword, he prefers a more hands-on approach in any combat situation. In beast mode, Grimlock forgoes any kind of ballistic weaponry in favor of his titanium teeth and tungsten tipped claws. In this form, he's both fast and deadly, possessing acute visual and olfactory senses. Weaknesses! Grimlock's unwillingness to access his available weaponry can sometimes make him second favorite in a firefight. Next episode, Maximal Grizzly 1. I'm sad but not overly surprised that Grimlock could never adjust to peacetime. Simply because, well, Beast Wars is a sequel to the original cartoon, and the Dinobots in the original cartoon were created in wartime. Grimlock was born in a war. Of course he'd have trouble adjusting to peacetime. I also think it's very important to have characters that have a hard time adjusting to peacetime. Real-life soldiers sometimes just can't leave the war behind. And it's important to have these characters in fiction for tangential learning. I hope Grimlock does eventually find peace.